Matrix here coming at you with another cryptocurrency stream and today we're going to be going over price action on Bitcoin and Electronium and just going over some news Bitcoin wells and uh, if that sounds interesting to you be sure to subscribe and like guys if you don't know much about my page I'm a new youtuber I've been doing this just a few weeks I like to give price calls go over price action and just talk about cryptocurrency in general and altcoins uh, Electronium is probably my favorite altcoin and uh, other than that I go over mostly Bitcoin stuff. So guys, if, if that's something that you're interested in, this is a channel for you. Be sure to subscribe and like, and I'm going to dive right into the price action. So guys, over the last few days, we've had a slightly downward motion since that big rise up into the 10,425, and then that shot down all the way down to 9,100 or 266, and then a slow rise up, sideways motion down, slightly up and then we've kind of been this downward channel we've had lower lows in the past week so it there's a question being raised are we starting to be bearish right now but if you zoom back to the 25th of may you can see that we still haven't put in a lower low yet so if we were to get down to 8600 level in the middle of this green bar just below the middle of the screen box then I would start to be bearish, meaning that we're starting a reversal and a downtrend's coming. But as you can see here, we're not putting in a lower low yet for that time frame. Now in the short, short term, since the third, we have been putting in lower lows. So guys, does that mean we're going to be dipping down and breaking through this resistance line that we've been on since March? Because we definitely could, okay? If we start to break through that and then we break through this ascending triangle to the downside, which even has a 70% chance of breaking to the upside, then that would be a very bearish sign, guys. So be mindful of that. I'm going to keep these graphs up over the next several weeks so you'll be able to track it and just know exactly where the market is going to go. And for instance, on the hourly time frame, if you notice it's starting to dip through there and you're in this range here and you don't see a reversal pattern starting to be formed, and I'm not elaborating it, then you know it's a good time to be bearish. And what that means for you is up to you. And I say it like that because you could be in a position where you're holding coin. You could be in a position where you're sh shorting or longing. You could be in a position where you're having a stop loss set. And it really just depends on where you are in your own personal trade in your life. So uh, use that information appropriately. Let's dive into some Electronium. Okay. So Electronium's moving sideways here. We're almost touching the top of this channel, just extending the channel here. That's about right. Now, if we continue to move sideways here, we've been moving sideways now for about a few days, since about the 13th. So we've been moving sideways for about a week. Now, before that, guys, we were definitely, you know, in a in a bit of a downtrend for a while there. We had the up on the 22nd before June and May up to all the way up to right before June and we've been in this downward channel ever since now guys uh, if we break again it's like almost the same situation here if we break above this wedge and start moving towards the point zero zero seven I would be very bullish and I also think that we're actually going to start to go that way because of this long downtrod and like I said before as long as we don't put in lows equivalent to 0 0.0059 or 0 0.006 or go below it, that's a really good sign, guys. So I wouldn't go bear mode yet, even though we've been in this downtrod since, you know, the end of May, okay? So don't go full bear mode yet, guys. There's still hope. Um, let's just see where this sideways motion plays out if it breaks up to the upside. If it breaks down to the downside and does dip below the 0 0.006, then yes, I would start to be a little bearish. But we still have some hope, guys, so be be patient. Um, it depends really where you got in again. If you got in at like 0 .005 and you're looking to just save some gains. But you're still in the green, guys. And on an altcoin, which has a lot of promise, Electronium's project is really strong. They're doing a lot of stuff in Africa. Uh, they're doing a lot of stuff for the business world as well. And not just that, but their app is really easy to use. It's just I, I enjoy it over most of my altcoins for sure. The only other one I really like a whole lot uh, that's really easy to use so far as Zcash and they're on like just most every exchange and I can't wait until Electronium is is more widely appreciated by exchanges and on more exchanges because that'll just be the day 
and I'll be in for that time. So guys, I suggest you're in for that as well. Now guys, I just wanted to go over some Bitcoin whales, okay? So Bitcoin whales have been selling Bitcoin on the quiet exchanges for attention, says analyst. Now when whales are selling on the low, it means they're accumulating in the low time. So whenever there's a low price, uh, like March 13th, a lot of accumulation was done. And that was uh, one of the highest accumulations by whales in history uh, since, you know, the 2018 run. And then here's a picture of just how much on the exchanges occupy the number of BTC sent underlying the Bitcoin network right here, guys. Check that out. So a lot of whales still accumulating, and that's where the smart money is. And as you can see, guys, the price is dropping a little bit. We're at 9379 and we're still dropping. And that's on Bitcoin right there. So I think as there's going to be a little bit more weeding out, that's, that's my price call for the near future, is we're going to see slightly lower prices, like testing the $9,200 level, $100 level. And if there's a flash crash, we will be down in the eights, guys. That's what I believe there. And uh, it's just as simple as that, guys. That's what my call is for Bitcoin. And I gave you my call on Electronium. And that's just the news on the Bitcoin whale, guys. So that's it for today. I'm gonna keep it real short. I know you guys are busy. I'm very busy too. I gotta get back to trading and looking at the market, seeing if there's some opens. And I hope you guys are doing the same. And I wish you all the luck in your trades today. I hope you all are very successful. Be sure to subscribe and like, guys. I do this every single day. Some days I take, I take one, I took one day off so far. So I, uh, I plan to keep streaming as much as possible, uploading YouTube videos as much as I can. I, uh, I'm a one-man show, so there's, I don't have any uh, support team or somebody editing for me or anything like that. I just I do everything myself, and I do the legwork for the trading. You know, I do everything. So all the support is greatly appreciated, guys. It, it goes to keeping this channel active and uh, giving the calls that you guys enjoy. So be sure to subscribe and like. I am Crypto Matrix. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.